What's up guys? Today I'm working on this 1958 Ferrari 250 GT long wheelbase. It's a huge mouthful. Uh, more importantly, it's TDF, Tour de France. And what we have to do is remove a clear bra I recently installed, meaning the one right here. And the reason why we installed it is so that he could drive it, which is this unbelievable, super cool thing. And we'll talk a little bit about the history and its value. So today's video, how to remove a clear bra by yourself. A few techniques and the things that you need to think about. That's coming up today on this episode of Ride Along. So that they sit on top of each other. Oh, touch up paint on it. Towards the end because you can hear it. The 250 GT Berlinetta, nicknamed the Long Wheelbase Berlinetta, or TDF, or Tour de France, after it competed in a 10-day Tour de France auto race, which it won from 1956 through 1960. Now, only 77 of these cars were ever produced by Scaglietta, with roughly 250 horsepower out of a 3-liter V12. This is a renowned driver's car, and I previously installed a clear bra for a few weeks of spirited driving at home. But today, I'm removing it to prepare for a concourse across the country. When it comes back, yep, you guessed it, a new bra will be installed, and the car will be driven hard as it should. Okay, first things first, this is a 3M clear bra that we installed on here, and the purpose was uh, to do exactly what it did, which was protect the paint so that he could drive it during the summertime. Now, we're going to restore it, and as you can see, I took the hood off, um, and yeah, we're doing a lot of work to it. So to get it judged in the show, uh, we need to take this off because they may deduct some points for that. So to remove it, the first thing I want to talk about is the steps, and the steps are very simple. It's basically to heat up the glue underneath and to peel it off. Okay, sounds simple, right? You're gonna use a professional heat gun. You know, yeah, hair dryers just don't heat up enough, but at the same time, this can also be very dangerous. We'll go through those steps, but I wanna put a little bit of a disclaimer in the front. The reason why you have a lot of uh, professionals uh, remove clear bra is they'll typically have the responsibility of pulling it off, and one out of every thousand will peel some paint. I've done it before, it's not fun, um, and you certainly don't wanna do it on a car of this value. Now, these cars, uh, are trading anywhere from 10 to $12 million from what I understand. Uh, so yeah, we wanna be pretty careful with this one here. So let's do the steps right now. First, I'm gonna put this uh, on low until you get comfortable with it. You can put it on high, you just need to leave it a little bit further out, okay? So first things first is you're gonna find a seam. Now here is the seam. Can you see that on camera? All right and underneath you're going to be able to feel a little bit of the edge. Now you're going to want to heat up about this much right around this area. And the goal, just like removing a sticker or anything, is just to heat up the glue behind there. But you don't want to get it so hot that you damage the paint underneath. So like right now, clear bra, in terms of its flexibility, it's hard as a rock. So we got to heat this guy up. I just turned it on high because I want to try to keep this moving fast. Keep your hand against the paint. And if you can't keep your hand on the paint, it's too hot. And it's winter outside now, so this is going to be even less flexible. Here it comes. Okay. Now the goal when you're pulling it is to pull sideways, not up. And you're going to do a little bit at a time. I'll pull the camera in in a minute once I get rolling here. And try to avoid pulling it off like that because when you pull it off it just makes the job much more of a pain in the butt so it's not super complicated but it can get tricky at times especially on older paint so let me pull the camera in and show you the other angle See, it's a pretty slow process. I mean, it's basically heating it up and, and gently pulling it. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, what do I, how often, or, you know, what's the possibility of pulling the paint off? Like I said, it's, it's very, very rare. Um, and when it happens, it happens. There's, there's not a whole lot that you can do to prevent it. Um, usually, typically, it happens on older clear bras uh, that have been on for a very long time and somehow have fused with the paint in one way or another. And when you pull it up, you pull it up. I, I don't really have an explanation for it. Um, but just to um, give you a heads up, I'll shoot a quick little video when I go home. I'll show you this. Uh, I pulled off a clear bra on a Carrera GT uh, a while back, and it 
the bra, like this bra was yellow. I don't have it with me now, but I'll show it to you. Um, and this is white, this is clear. So a lot of the big fear that people have was, hey, clear bras turn yellow. I don't know if I wanna put clear bra on. Well, that's a thing of the past. That's so far long gone with a technology that has advanced with glues. And if you think about new cars, not these old ones, but newer cars, they used to have 20, 30 pounds worth of you know, glue. Now they have way more. Why? Because there's composites and all these crazy metals, light metals um, that you can't really weld. So the glue industry is really boosted up because cars are really kind of glued together. Not really, but you get my point. There's a lot more glue in it. And that technology has kind of trickled down to clear bras and the glue that's attached to these things, they don't really yellow anymore. Remember, it wasn't the, the bra necessarily that was yellowing, it was the glue. So forget about that. If you're thinking about getting clear bra and that was in the way of, no, I don't want it to yellow, that's not a factor anymore. So anyways, you can see I'm slowly pulling it off, trying to do the best I can, taking my time. But I wanted to point your eyes to something down here. Right over here, there is a, a bug, a tar or road chip or something. Um, and that's what these things do. They take the impact of the hit and uh, you know preserve this really expensive car. So anyway, it's just kind of cool when I was pulling this up, I'm like, oh, all right. It's actually, uh, it's actually, this bra is actually working out. So anyways, I gotta pull this off and then you know polish the rest of the car, but I wanted to show you the steps anyway. All right, well, the clear bra's off and it looks like this crazy monstrosity over here. Just take your time um, and slowly peel it off. Try to peel as close as you can to the paint and use adequate heat, but not too much heat. And like I said, if the paint's gonna go, the paint's gonna go. That's another reason why it's always a good idea to hire a professional to do this. But I wanted to at least give you a little bit of a behind the scenes. I'm sure there's multiple ways of doing it. The last step is little spots like this over here, uh, glue, there's a little bit of glue left over. My go-to is Goo Gone. Simply open it up like that. It's got a safety child lock on it. Pour it a little bit onto a microfiber towel and just dab that area. Let it do, let it do its thing and sometimes you can just there it goes. You can just pick it up with your nail. Just get a little bit underneath there, just be careful, but Goo Gone is a great way to get the uh, any leftover glue that may not have been heated up all the way. So just go around, double check it, and finally the last way that you can uh, clean that up too was with a microfiber towel, microfiber uh, cutting pad. We did that on an old race car, old yellow race car, I don't know if you guys remember that from years ago. But yeah, I'm gonna finish polishing this car. It's pretty spectacular. As you can tell behind me, got some Pretty, pretty mean uh, Pagani Huayra there as well. Anyways, if you have any questions, guys, shoot me an email at Larry at AmmoNYC.com. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. This was sort of a DIY thing, uh, but again, um, it's always a good idea to hire a professional to do something like this, but I wanted you to see, at least behind the scenes. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye.